This is the key to the worksheet on graphing linear equations and on this worksheet you want to use intercepts. So for each linear equation determine the x intercept and the y intercept and then label the intercepts on the graph. So when you graph these just make sure you follow directions which is to label the intercepts. Also indicate the intercepts as an ordered pair. So make sure when you put in the um, intercepts in these blanks that you write as an ordered pair. So that's important. So remember ordered pair. You need an x coordinate and a y coordinate. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the first one. So here's the first one. We have 2x plus 3y equal negative 12. All right, so that's my first linear equation. So I want to graph this by finding the x and y intercept. So remember, when the graph crosses the x-axis, no matter where the graph crosses the x-axis, so here's the x-axis, no matter where the graph crosses the x-axis, and remember, that's going to be the x-intercept, no matter where the graph crosses the x-axis, the y-coordinate is always 0. So when you want to find the x-intercept, so to find the x-intercept, you're going to let y equal 0. So the y-coordinate is 0. So in place of y in the equation, you're going to substitute 0 and then solve for x. So I get 2x plus 3 times 0 equals negative 12. And remember, 3 times 0 is 0, so 2x plus 0 is 2x. I get 2x equals negative 12. And then to get x by itself, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 2. The coefficient of x is 2. I'll multiply an x by 2. And so when I reduce, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times x is x. And negative 12 divided by 2 is a negative 6. So that is your x-intercept. So the x-intercept is negative 6. But remember, they want you to write as an ordered pair. So as an ordered pair, you're going to say negative 6, 0. So that's going to go in this first blank right here. So you're going to say um, negative 6, 0. All right? So then we're going to find the y-intercept. So remember to find the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. And wherever the graph crosses the y-axis, so if you look at any point on that y-axis, the x-coordinate is 0. So if I want to find the y-intercept, so to find the y-intercept, you're going to let the x-coordinate equal 0 or the variable x equal 0. And so, so I get um, back in the equation, so where we see the variable x, you can substitute 0 this time. So you get 2 times 0 plus 3y equals negative 12. And 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 3y is 3y. So I get 3y equal negative 12. The coefficient of y is 3, meaning that y is being multiplied by 3. And the opposite of multiplication is division. I want to solve for y. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3 and then reduce. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times y is y. So I get my y-intercept to equal negative 12 divided by 3, which is a negative 4. But remember, ordered pair, those are directions. So as an ordered pair, my x-coordinate is 0. My y-coordinate is negative 4. So 0, negative 4. So that's going to go into this blank. So 0, negative 4. All right, now... Um, you can't see the, this very well, so I'm going to go ahead and use um, this bigger one here to graph. So when graphing, remember it says um, when graphing, make sure you label the intercepts on the graph. And so my x-intercept, remember, is negative 6, 0. And my y-intercept is negative 4, but as an ordered pair, it's 0, negative 4. So let's go ahead and do that. So here is the x-intercept for the first graph. So negative 6, 0 right here. And so I'm going to put a little dot there. So that's one of the points on the graph. And then the other intercept is a y-intercept, which is at negative 4. So here's negative 4 right here. All right, now we're going to go ahead and, and graph this. So let me go ahead and get the um, ruler. So when I graph this, I will get this line. Now remember when graphing a linear equation, you're graphing all this all the points that are on that line. So here are the points on that line. And to graph a linear equation, you just need at least two points. And so the two points that you use were the um, x-intercept and the y-intercept. Now remember, uh, don't forget the arrows. Also, don't forget to label this. So uh, the, um, this point right here, this x-intercept is going to be labeled as negative 6, 0. 
and this y-intercept can be labeled as ne uh, zero, negative four. All right, so that was that was number one, which was the equation two x plus three y equal negative twelve. All right, so that was number one. All right, let's look at number two. So number two, we have this linear equation. We have negative 3x minus 4y equal 24. And we're going to do the process again. So to find the x-intercept, we're going to let y equal 0. So let's go ahead and find the x-intercept. So find the x-intercept. All right, so, um, so remember, we let y equal 0, because no matter where the graph crosses the x-axis, the y-coordinate is going to be 0. So you get negative 3x minus 4 times 0 equals 24. 4 times 0 is 0, so I get negative 3x minus 0 is still negative 3x equal 24. Dividing both sides by negative 3, don't forget negative 3, not positive 3, because the coefficient of x is negative 3, so you have to say divide by negative 3. And then you reduce, negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1, 1 times x is x, so I get my x-intercept to be 24 divided by negative 3 is a negative 8. As an ordered pair, that's going to be negative 8, comma, 0. Because remember the y-coordinate, the y-coordinate is 0. All right, to find the y-intercept, so find a y-intercept, remember you're going to let x equal 0. So in place of x, I'm substitute 0. So you get negative 3 times 0 minus 4y equal 24. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 4y is still a negative 4y equal 20. Four. The coefficient of y is negative 4, so to get y by itself, I'm going to go ahead and divide by negative 4, both sides by negative 4. And then reducing, negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1, 1 times y is y, so I'm going to get my y-intercept to equal, and the negative, uh, I'm sorry, 24 divided by negative 4 is a negative 6. So as an ordered pair, that's going to be, remember x is 0, y is negative 6, so 0, negative 6. And so, so in the blank, don't forget though, in the blank, you have to set, you have to put this in order pair. So the x-intercept is negative 8, 0, and the y-intercept is 0, negative 6. All right, there's not a, um, it doesn't look, um, you can't see this very well, so I'm going to go ahead and use that, the larger graph, which is this. And so the x-intercept is number 2. And so the equation is negative 3x minus 4y equal 24. We found the x-intercept, remember, to be negative 8, 0. So that's here. So that's where the graph's going to cross the x-axis. So that's one of the points on this line. The y-intercept is 0, negative 6. So that's right here. So that's where the graph crosses the y-axis. And then if we use our ruler to draw a straight line, so here's the graph of this linear equation. Don't forget to draw your arrows. And let's go ahead and label this. So this is the point negative 8, 0. And this is a point 0, negative 6. All right, so that was number 2. All right, so let's look at number 3. So number 3, which is this one, we have this equation. Number 3, we have... Um, let's see, that was 7x um, minus 3y equal 21. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and find the x-intercept. So remember, to find the x-intercept, you're going to let y equal 0. So I get 7x minus 3 times 0 equal 21. 3 times 0 is 0, so 7x minus 0 is 7x equal 21. To solve for x, we're now multiplying x by 7. The coefficient of x is 7, so I'm going to divide both sides by that coefficient. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 1 times x is x, so that's what I wanted. I wanted, the x I wanted x by itself. So my x-intercept is going to be 21 divided by 7, which is 3. As an ordered pair, though, that is 3, 0. So y is 0, x is 3. To find the y-intercept, we're going to let x equal 0. And so I get 7 times 0, x is 0. So 7 times 0 minus 3y equal 21. 7 times 0 is 0. 0 subtract 3y is a negative 3y equal 21. Coefficient of y is negative 3. I'm multiplying y by negative 3. 
the opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. And then when I reduce negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1. 1 times y is y. And so therefore my y-intercept is going to equal, and then let's go ahead and reduce this, 21 divided by negative 3 is a negative 7. But remember the direction said, right, this is an ordered pair, so x is 0, y is negative 7. So 0, negative 7. All right, now when you graph this, so this will be number 3. So let's go ahead and graph this. Now this is number 3, and the equation is 7x minus 3y equal 21. All right, so the um, x-intercept was uh, or is 3, 0. So that is here. I'm put a dot on um, the x-intercept 3. And the y-intercept 0, negative 7, so that's right here. And uh, so remember, that's two points. So all you need to graph a line are two points. And in this case, they ask you to use the intercepts. So let's go ahead and draw our line now. So here are all the points on that line. Don't forget to draw your arrow, and the directions did say write the um, intercepts, label the intercepts as ordered pairs on the graph. So that's uh, 3, 0, and the y-intercept would be 0, negative 7. All right, so that is, that is the key to, oh, well, let me go ahead and write the ordered pairs here. So that is um, 3, 0, and then 0, negative 7. All right, so that is the key to the worksheet on graphing linear equation using intercepts.